Um, Moza Meat is a startup company that began in Maastricht in the Netherlands. Uh, we started here at the University of Maastricht as a research project. And what we're trying to do is to develop and commercialize cultured meat, um, which is real meat, but rather than growing and then slaughtering a whole animal, instead we grow the meat, uh, which is exactly the same as livestock meat directly from the animal cells. And the reason we want to do this is because it can help with the coming food shortage, um, it can be a lot more environmentally friendly, and of course is much kinder to animals. In a best case scenario, we could see the first products on the market on a very small scale in 2021. Um, it has to be said though that it's, it's difficult to guarantee a particular timeline because there are scientific unknowns still and there are also aspects of the process you know, such as the regulatory process which are outside our hands. Um, we're currently focusing on minced meat products because they are scientifically easier to achieve and so we thought we would start with those products and they do make up 50% of the global meat market so they actually are very significant um, but we also are working on developing 3D structures so cuts of meat such as steak and um, we think that's definitely scientifically possible it's just a little bit further down the track than the minced meat products. We know that meat demand is going to double globally in the next 30 years and traditional meat production you know, simply can't cope with this extra demand. The production process of just growing the cells rather than growing the whole animal and throwing away most of it only to eat a small portion is actually a lot more efficient. So one way to look at cultured meat is that it's a complement which is going to enable us to produce more meat so that we can all continue to enjoy meat and it doesn't become a scarce product that only the very wealthy can enjoy. As to whether cultured meat you know, ultimately comes to replace traditionally produced meat, I think will depend on consumers. And once these products are on the market, they will have the opportunity to decide whether they want to go with the conventional products or with the new ones, which will have environmental and animal welfare benefits.